Hello coolers, welcome to Viva Barca, welcome to the home of everything Barcelona and welcome to the home of every Barcelona lover. Guys, in this episode we are going to be discussing on two interesting stories all relating to transfers. We are going to start with Erling Haaland, a player that we have been linked with so much throughout this season. Recent reports are saying that Barcelona could still go ahead to sign Erling Haaland next summer despite the rumors saying that Barca can't afford it. But now, given the fact that Barcelona is likely to have a new sponsor next summer with Rakuten, their contract with FC Barcelona is expiring soon, and reports are saying that a cryptocurrency company is likely to take over the sponsorship of FC Barcelona, and of course, also some other rumors are saying that Qatar Airways can still return as our main sponsors. And because of that, you know, Barca can inject some funds which could help them go for Erling Haaland next summer. We are going to be discussing more on that as we move ahead. Secondly, we are going to be talking about this other transfer rumor, talking about this Chelsea left-back Marcos Alonso. Recent reports are saying that Barcelona are targeting Alonso as a long-term replacement for Jody Arba. We are going to be discussing on that as well. So guys, as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. It is an open secret that Barcelona are deep in so crushing debt as it stands. Barca have been in financial trouble for a long time. The pandemic has only worsened the situation. Losses in revenue with limited fans and sponsorship have meant that Barcelona struggle to buy players. Barca have been interested in Erling Haaland for a while. Haaland has attracted attention worldwide and deservedly so. He is a seemingly generational talent with many years left to go. The problem, as it were, pertains to his price. As per a report from Fitcher Jess, Barcelona might have just found their way through this mess. The sponsorship deal with Rakuten is soon going to an end. With it, Barca will have nobody on the front of their football jerseys. It is reported that a cryptocurrency agency might take over Barca's front shirt next summer. They are rumored to be ready to pay a whopping 70 million euros per annum. So there is another even better deal on offer, you know, though Qatar Airways are seeking to return to being Barcelona's front shirt sponsors next season. So, they will reportedly be ready to pay the Catalan Giants a whopping 100 million euros per year if that deal is to be accepted. The problem here is that the fact that Barcelona are not on the best of terms with the airline, you know, but both sums of money would you know, theoretically be enough to bring Alain to the Camp Nou. Barcelona faced turned competition from Paris Saint-Germain and Manchester City. Both clubs are perhaps more alluring than Barcelona as it stands, and money is far less of an issue to them. That said, fans will keep a stern eye at Barcelona, who need to sign a forward next season with several top names, including Mohamed Salah Ling. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, Barcelona have struggled for quite a while to remedy their left-back situation. Jordi Alba has been Barcelona's number one for almost a decade, even, you know, cognizance of the fact that he cannot last forever, Barca have struggled to replace him. In the past few seasons, Junior Firpo, Juan Miranda and Marco Correa have been touted to fill his void, but none did. It finally seemed as though Barcelona have found a short-term player to compete for the spot. According to latest report, Barcelona are looking at Marcos Alonso. Of course, reports claim that after the arrival of Dani Alves, Barca is working to strengthen the left-back and bring in a rival to Jordi Alba. The timing of this makes it a short-term deal. Alonso, a fellow Spaniard, is 30 years of age and surely cannot be the man for a long term. As Alba reaches the tail end of his career, he needs as much assistance as he can get. Alejandro Bade's time with the first team has been reduced to a handful of minutes right now, so Sergino Des, a right-back, is the only viable backup he has. His level of experience means that this is not the riskiest of purchases that Barca can make. Under Thomas Tuchel, he was instrumental in his role as a left wing back as the season started but was soon sidelined by Ben Chewell. There's a question to be asked on whether or not this is necessary. Bade is 18 year old and you know has his whole career ahead of him. Given he seems to be soon getting into the first team on a more permanent basis, perhaps Xavi might also look to him. Barcelona have financial struggles as we know and Bade, for free, 
It's as slow as a club can get a proper player for their distinct style. So colors, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to subscribe so you always stay in touch with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye.